Emma, congratulations. Yeah. First time with you as an Olympic champion. Yeah. How, how does that feel to say that? Weird and unbelievable all at once. You know, you hear about how special the Olympic Games are, but to participate as a coach in this has been the most unbelievable experience of my life. And to come out gold medal winners, oh, I don't think I can quite believe it, to be honest. Having won so much, seven WSL titles, along with all the other trophies at Chelsea, but then to do it on the world stage, yeah. can you comprehend conquering the world? Oh, no, I'd, I'd say not. And all the successes have been great fun. I've really enjoyed them. But winning gold at the Olympic Games, I'm not sure it gets much better than that. And it's a competition I always grew up watching and loved watching. So to lead a team to success after about 80 days in the job, I, 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 I simply can't believe it. How have you done it? You went from picking up the trophy with Chelsea in May straight into the US. You've had 10 games, the 10th mm. being the one where you lift the trophy. Great people. I've got brought my backroom staff with me, which was really helpful. But the players on the pitch, they made it so much easier. They just embraced me as a coach. They were coachable. They wanted to learn. Everybody embraced their role. There wasn't one player in the team who viewed anything as anything but a positive experience. And together we, you know, we had so much fun. I think that was the difference. One of the players were saying about how you brought humour to the camp. You know, I do, I, I'm out of England, <laughs> so it, it, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I, I mean that I've always found myself to be a little bit lighter when I'm in America. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe my formative years working there I have such an appreciation for the place. But don't get me wrong, I'm a proud English woman today, winning the gold medal, albeit for another country. It's been appropriated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's... Listen, I, I didn't have to face Team GB, so there was no conflict of interest, but um, I'm just, so, I'm just uh, speechless, do, I'm genuinely speechless. Do you feel it's already changed you or given you this new lease of life? Oh, it's definitely given me a new lease of life. I didn't realise how much I needed the team uh, and vice versa, we needed each other. And I've always spoken about the wonderful memories I had at Chelsea, but I needed a change and I couldn't have asked for a better start. And one of my players said to me yesterday, it's all down here from, all downhill from here. Uh, hope not, but I get the point. And, you know, people might have forgotten the fact you picked up the team in a low, struggled at the Women's World Cup last yeah. year, hadn't won the Olympic gold since 2012. And some have seen it as you restoring the US to the pinnacle again. I, just, I don't get caught, caught up in that. I just know I was with a magic group, special time together and I just want to celebrate this achievement and stay in the moment for one more day and what's been a trip of a lifetime. What was it like being able to celebrate with Harry in particular? <sighs> you know, he ran over to me and he said, Mummy, you need to come home now. The team have had enough of you. It's been really hard on him, I'm not going to lie. It was so tough because he had to sacrifice his mum for a month and no six-year-old really deserves that. So my priority now is like, go home and, and and put him first. Getting ready for the new school year. Getting ready, <laughs> have a break, just yeah. be with my son. And you've reflected so much about how your dad inspired you mm. to take this job. How, how much are you thinking about him now? You know what, I had my mum there yesterday and she's you know, endured a lot this year and I know she, she loved it. She was celebrating with Tom Cruise up in the box and you know, my dad was with me the whole way. I felt his presence the entire time. And I know he would have absolutely loved yesterday. So I made sure I celebrated it, enjoyed, enjoyed it for him. Because he almost told you to take this job, didn't he? He's, he's the most important person in my life, he was. So I, I just, I can't believe I got to do something we talked about so often. And as I said, he was with me the whole time. I could feel him with me on the touchline, a really strange feeling, but one that, yeah, the rest of my family were there. And I know after a hard year, it was so great for them. Yeah. Obviously, you don't get to have a medal. They're going to get you on. No, but like, I've got memories. 
Like at the end of the day, I coached a, an Olympic gold medal winning team. I don't need a medal for that. I, these people have really you know, opened up and I've enjoyed being in their presence and their company. And for me, that's even more valuable than a medal. And on to the World Cup now. Yeah, have a break first. <laughs> Congratulations, Emma. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks a lot.